It's Thursday, and we are back to sunny, beautiful weather, summer weather, 70-degree weather here in the Bay Area after getting some rain and bizarre kind of winter weather the past couple of days. It's Mike Matthews, episode 53 of Mike's Daily Podcast, and I think I have to sing. All right, so I have to sing. Yesterday, it was pedicures and sushi. I felt like I was kidnapped by a Sex and the City movie. Mike's Daily Podcast. It was an all-you-can-eat sushi place, but there's only so much sushi you can stuff in your face. Mike's Daily Podcast. We were in San Mateo and walking around. We were in the really cool downtown. There's an eyeglass store with a yogurt shop inside. Lots of mom-and-pop-owned businesses that looked like they were getting by. But all-you-can-eat sushi, really... Maybe not the best of indulgences. Mike's Daily Podcast. So before you patronize another box store, make sure the mom and pops you don't ignore. Mike's because they need Daily Moolah to get podcast. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, it was really cool down there. It's a neat part of the Bay Area. They're kind of uh, just near the San Mateo Bridge. That's the name. And uh, a little bit south there of the San Francisco airport. And we went there with uh, our friend Terry, who listens to the podcast. Hello, Terry, if you finally get to this one. She's backed up with, with Mike's Daily Podcast since we do it every day. And she wants to get them all in order, in sequence. So she's way back, I think, uh, last month or something. So, you know, hopefully she'll catch up. Oh, look who's caught up with us. Oh, damn, Mike. This is Valentino, the parking attendant there. And this is Mike's Manly. Do you know that? Uh, guys, it's been great to have you here. Now leave. Wait a minute. We just got here. And we heard you we talking about sushi, Dan. That's what Bison Bentley and I want to do. We want to start sushi, serving sushi in the parking lot there of the last place on it. Yeah, just parking cars all day gets really boring. We want to cut up and slice some fresh fish. Raw fish. Do you know that? Yeah, sushi is raw fish. I knew that. Um, well, you know, for one thing... I think you guys would probably, you know, poison a couple thousand people, and we'd run into all kinds of legal problems, and that would really stink, because, you know, now California wants to start taxing everything that's on the internet, and who knows, we might get taxed, even though this is a free show, they can find a way to tax anything, so, you know, you guys could be out of money. We have no idea what you were just talking about there. Uh, sorry, I was just venting. Oh, look who else is coming in. Hello, my shoes, this is my damn Madame Rue de Vega, you just heard Valentino, the parking tenant in Bison Bentley. They want to start a sushi a store, cafe, out in the parking lot there. What do you think about that? Matthew, I predict that when they serve the sushi, the people will go crazy for it, and they will only want some more. Ooh. Really? Yes, Matthew. They will, they will actually light and no one will get poisoned? Matthew, I predict that no one will get poisoned. Uh huh. Valentino has a gun to your back, doesn't he? No, Matt. That's not a nice, appropriate way of. Yeah, I do have a gun. Okay. The Micropedia in Sanica. Today, uh, as we open up the Micropedia in Sanica, the word that we fall upon here in the N area and is a uh, N is Nathan Lane. Yes, this isn't alphabetized correctly. So, uh, Nathan Lane. You know him from, let's see, he's probably most famous for that character that he voices on The Lion King. And also he's the voice of the cat in Stuart Little. Maybe you didn't know that. Did you know that? He's also, of course, in The Birdcage. He was in the musical The Producers. And this movie that took forever to watch, Mouse Hunt. So, And he's done a ton of Broadway. I bring him up because, well, there's a lot of interesting stories about him. A reporter once asked him if he was gay, and he replied, I'm 40, single, work in the musical theater. You do the math. And you can just, knowing Nathan Lane's voice, you do the math. And uh, when he told his mom he was gay, he replied, she replied, rather, I'd rather you were dead. 
To which he replied, I knew you'd understand. So there, uh, Nathan Lane is uh, got his definite funny way of performing. He was in the Modern Family episode recently where he was a one of the gay friends of the gay couple. And he ends up kind of coming on to Al Bundy's, the guy... That I always forget his name, and it was oh, it, it was a f- hilarious episode. Here's my question about Nathan Lane: Who really thinks that guy can sing? Uh, he's made a career at Broadway, but he's like uh, Nathan Lane. It's like a well, some people must really enjoy his voice. I guess his voice lends well to the comedic music theater, the ATA. But wow, you know, I know I got a lousy voice, but. Heavens to Murgatroy. So there you go. There's the story of Nathan Lane as we close another edition of Mike's um, Micropedia and Sanica. And, oh, he was an Austin Powers gold member as the mysterious disco man. I forgot that. Nice churning out this trivia today on the podcast. The picture for the blog today was actually taken when I was in Birmingham, Alabama. My wife was at some kind of convention thing, and so I kind of walked around, did some sightseeing, and I went to the top of this mountain where this, there's this huge statue of, uh, like, like, the guy, I guess he's the industrial god or something, and he, Jupiter, Mars, the Mars bar guy, I don't know who it was, but he, he's holding thunder and lightning. Loki, um, Thor, maybe one of those guys. Anyway, so there's this, it's huge, and I, I took a picture of it just as the sun was right behind it. It was very cold, and that's that picture. Tomorrow's Friday, and we will have our last Mike's Daily Podcast for a couple days because I will be on vacation checking out Sonora, California, with some friends, Christy, Jason, uh, my wife, love, Ariel. It'll be a fun excursion. And we'll have to tell you all about it when we get back. And I'm going to do some call-ins from the uh, actual vacation. When when funny things should occur, I will call. And you can find that on my website, the podcast.blog.com website. There is a CinchCast um, box in off to the side, you'll see. And it, it's where you'll be able to listen to it. So that's just a little for inside for you fans. All point zero nine percent of you that might want to check that out. So enjoy your Thursday. I hope it's wonderful. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at podcast.blog.com. Email Mike at michael.matthews at myspace.com. Thanks for listening. See you tomorrow. Bye.